Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to interrupt an AI based on a certain attribute or a need. Uh, uh, so it, it, for example, if you have an NPC that needs fuel to operate, uh, then if that NPC has low fuel, you would want it to abandon uh, any, or stop anything that it's doing to do the refuel and then go back to whatever it was doing previously so yeah I'm going to I'm going to show you how to do that so let's get started for example uh, for the purposes of this example we're going to use the fuel attribute that I just mentioned so let's create a child blueprint of the NPC base I'm going to call this NPC fuel open that let's create a variable called fuel level uh, that's a float and I'm gonna give this uh, default value of 10 now we need a way to uh, to make this fuel go down as time goes by so you can you can do this anyway but for this example I'm just gonna make it really simple uh, we're going to deplete it depending on the delta seconds so with that it if the default value is 10 it should take roughly 10 seconds for it to be zero so yeah you can do this any way you want but that's simple enough for our examples now go to our behavior tree folder and I'm going to duplicate this behavior tree let's call this fuel AI open that and you can see here we have our services in the root node uh, you, we can create a new service for for this but I'm just going to expand on the BTS check distance because we don't really need to create uh, something else so let's get the personality and this has a reference to our owning character you can then cast this to our NPC fuel and then we can check if our fuel levels is less than I don't know maybe less than one less than one and if it is less than one we need to change our behavior to need change our behavior to what uh, whatever behavior we want. Well, for our example, we're going to create a new behavior called refuel. Oh, and before that, we need to make sure that this only happens once. So we need to check if our current behavior type is not equal to uh, refuel then we do this right don't have the enum yet we're going to create that in a sec but yeah okay so let's go back to our blueprints folder enums behavior type so we add a new enum here called refuel save that and go open our behavior component right here uh, go to our change behavior you can see our enum is right here now uh, you can create uh, event dispatchers but we don't really need that for this so let's just go to just co connect these nodes here so it, they execute properly and in our event graph just again you can create your own config but we don't really need that here for the example uh, uh, creating a new behavior state is uh, there, there is there's an instruct a proper instructions in the documentation for this so if you want to create a uh, proper proper behavior states you can look look that up uh, but for our examples, we don't really need any complicated stuff, so we can do this. So let's select, 
refuel for this. Let's just check. So if our current behavior type is not equal to refuel, we change it to refuel. Compile that. Now we need to create a branch for our refuel. So let's create a sequence node right here. And then we add a decorator, blackboard decorator, on value change, abort both. So if our behavior type is equal to refuel, we enter this node. So what do we want to do? Well, let's say we want to wait um, three seconds and then we refuel. We, we, we tell our AI to reset the fuel level. How do we do that? So we create a new task right here. Let's select blueprint base. I'm just going to name it refuel override receive execute. So this owner actor is the controller. So in our case, it is the BPAIC. Again, we get the personality, which is just a behavior component. Get owning app character. Cast it to the fuel NPC. And then we set our fuel level back to 10. And then, it's very important, you need to call finish execute with a success. And then we also need a not successful to be connected to the cast failed just in case. Just to be safe, okay. So there, we have our fuel task. Let's go back to the behavior tree. We call, oh wait, I didn't save it properly, let's save it BTT refuel. Yes, we can now call it BTT refuel. And then we want our AI to go back to its previous behavior state. So we have the behavior transition for that. Behavior transition. Uh, you can see here we have the refuel. We don't want it to return to idle, we want it to return to the previous behavior. Previous behavior. Uh, if you're using the current uh, behavior toolkit version, if you have this, uh, an older version, the previous behavior type is actually private, so we just go into the behavior component, look for the previous behavior type, and uncheck private, so we can actually access this. Okay, let's go back here. It's called previous behavior type. Connect that to refuel. Compile. And yeah, let's go back to our NPC fuel. Maybe we can go let's assign our fuel AI behavior tree. Now, what do we want this AI to do? We set our initial behavior to, let's say, patrol. And I'm just going to drag a fuel NPC here. We need a patrol group. This. And select his behavior component. Let's set the patrol type to back and forth. And then let's assign the patrol root we just created. So it should patrol. And let's hit play. So he's now patrolling. Uh, it will take roughly 10 seconds for him to run out of fuel. So, and this, so yeah, he runs out of fuel. And after 3 seconds, he should resume. There you go. He resumes his patrol. So yeah, when he, he has low fuel, he tries to refuel. So he stops everything he's doing and then goes back. So yeah, that's how you interrupt an AI to do something and then go back. So obviously you would want it uh, in your game to be more complicated to do. Uh, you, you don't just want this to reset the fuel automatically. Maybe you maybe you want him to go somewhere else and then refuel. Uh, it's up to you. So but yeah, but that's how you interrupt the AI and then make him go back to whatever he was doing. So yeah. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you and um, 
Thanks for watching.